In more than 434,000 votes have been cast in this year's art prize competition. One of those pieces you voted into the top 10 is this one. It's called Myth or Logic. The artist behind this piece is no stranger to art prize. This is her, th her third entry, but her first top 10 piece. This morning, Robin Protz joins me. And it's just a gorgeous piece. And how are you feeling about breaking into that top 10? Congratulations. Oh, thank you. It's wonderful. It's no question. Yeah. What a, what a, oh, now I'm going to speak German, but what a compliment <laughs> from the people. When you have been near your art and talked to the people who come and yeah. look at it, yeah. what are the questions? What are you saying oh, well, to them? <laughs> the questions are, how did how? you do it? How? how did you move it? Mm -hmm. And, you know, how much time? But that's, that, you know, what I have to tell you is that the people are so kind. That's good. Yeah. It's bamboo. Very, it's completely bamboo. It's amazing. It's nuts. Now, let's talk about, let's talk about last year. Yes. Dragon. Yes. Um, you were disqualified. Correct. Over a rule that no longer is, exists. Correct. How did that make you feel? Well, that was devastating last year, but the point is, is that I would never have built this piece if it hadn't happened. Mm -hmm. And it's a learning experience. All my pieces like to be in the dark, so um, to be able to build something that could stand in that beautiful setting, are you kidding me? What an opportunity. And I think it looks good in there, that wild beast. I think it looks good, at least like I said, from the pictures, I need to get over and see it. I you don't do, get out do. enough. Um, we are three days out from yep. Friday night. How are you feeling right now, this morning? Uh -huh. Is it nervous? Is it oh, well, joy nervous. still from the top 10? Well, nervous. I didn't get to sleep until 5 a.m. yesterday morning after I found out I was in the top 10 because, you know, your brain is just going, that and a little bit of Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, it's it's fabulous. What I, I'm just so happy to be here uh -huh. and be in the top ten. Are you kidding me? It's quite it's quite wonderful. Tell us about your life outside of Art Prize. What do you do for a living? What do you do well, when you're not here? I'm a gardener. Okay. Um, this is pretty much what I try to do, mm -hmm. and that's the wonderful thing is I'm hoping that I'll be able to continue doing this and mm -hmm. delighting people. Yeah, I love to see. I've seen adults come around and get and gasp when they. Yeah. yeah, which is the wonderful thing is all these, all the reactions and to be able to charm people. It's wonderful. Art Prize is about the art and the people, isn't it? Absolutely. In so many different ways. Oh, the people at Grand Rapids are fabulous. They're just wonderful. I've had so many hugs, you know, consolations from last year. Last year, after the disqualification, it was a mourning process uh -huh. that went by. Oh, sure. It, literally, that people were, were sad that they lost that piece, but. Well, I'll take that compliment for the people of Grand Rapids and pass it along. Thank you Please very do. much. Thank Robin, you. good luck and thank you for joining us this it. morning. Thank you.